Hanging out here with Billy Dunn. We chatted with him, of course, on Thursday, only briefly, as we did a quick little thing with the, the drivers that locked themselves in. He is on the pole for the Salute the Troops 150, which will take place later tonight. Work to do still with the big block. Uh, he will start sixth in one of the last chance races. They're only taking two, so sounds like a tale of two race cars. Billy, how we doing? Uh, we're good. We uh, actually had a pretty good big block last night, too. Just had a flat tire with, like, five to go, so that uh, kind of ruined our race, and finished 12th so we'll make the best of the last chance race and if we have to we'll use our provisional so did you pit or yeah we had a flat tire on a late restart running fourth so mm -hmm. that put us to the back and just couldn't get back into a qualified spot how'd the tire go flat uh, i'm not really sure just caught a right rear tire right on a restart so i don't know if i ran over something or if it was just a track yeah because that does happen right i mean little things are missed and yeah a small screw even could could and take down a, a tire right a lot of carnage on the track last night, so I'm sure there was stuff laying around to run over or just uh, one of them things. Obviously, we were pretty good before that happened, though. Yeah, we were running fourth. Not not great, but not really even trying to. I had a pretty big gap to the car in front of me and a gap to the car behind me, so I was just riding around trying to get to the end of the race, just didn't quite get there. Okay. Uh, as far as the small block, how did that race? A small block is really good. Luckily, we are in the first... Uh, the first small block race so the track was a little bit smoother uh got the win in that and uh looking forward to that race hopefully we can get that one in tonight now as far as the initial start because this is like syracuse in one aspect starts and restarts matter right yeah that's how you can get some spots so starting on the inside can you kind of go up a little bit and miss that little rut down there or do you drive um, through it and hope for the best or do you well, even know? Yeah, hopefully they get a little better than last night. If you missed one hole, you're just going to run through another one. But uh, it's uh, just glad to be in the towards the front start of that race. There's definitely going to be um, some issues mid-pack. I think there was lots of cautions last night. So hopefully we can stay out in clean air for most of the race. Okay. I've been asking a lot of folks this lately since we've been doing video instead of the other stuff. When did everything start? Because I remember you were sharing some stuff during the early days of the pandemic. From Were you a go-kart racer at a track that doesn't exist or something like that? Or No, BMX, right? Oh, uh, yeah. We There's a BMX track where the uh, go-kart track is at Can-Am right now. Oh, okay. It was, it was a bike track first. Okay. And when would this have been? Um, late 80s through like 1990, 91. How old were you? Six, seven years old. Oh, you were a little kid on yeah. your BMX bike out there. When did you get something with an engine? Uh, I think... 91. Oh, that 90, late? 91 or 92. I was seven years old. Well, in 91, 92, uh, how old were you then when you got, what was it, a go-kart? Yeah. they. I think whatever the first year the go-kart track opened at Can-Am was the first year we started racing. Oh, I, did, I guess I just always thought it was there. No, so. it was the bike track first and then the go-kart track. Yeah, because I did one BMX race as a kid, and I didn't have a real bike or anything. They had a little place over near the lake, and... Man, that was exhausting. Yeah, we did a lot of it, and uh, there was a couple tracks in Canada. We used to go to, actually, me and Tim Boltz used to race bikes together. No kidding. Um, in Canada. Did he announce while he was next to you? No, he, <laughs> okay. he, he just raced back then, but uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I could hear him, because that, that was me as a kid when I was playing baseball. I was doing play-by-play -play for myself at the plate. Elkins strikes out again. It was the number one thing there. So when did we move into a big car? Uh, 2001. And what was that? IMCA car. Oh, I do remember that when yep. you were doing that. Because they were still pretty popular at that time, and Can-Am ran them, right? Yeah, that Brewerton. was probably the, the height of the popularity for that class. There was uh, you know, 15, 20 cars a week at Can-Am and a lot of tracks that ran them. We, had, we ran that for three years and had quite a bit of fun doing it. Yeah. When did we move to something like this? Was it a sportsman first? No, or? we went right from the IMCA to a big block at Can-Am when they switched to big oh, that was back when they were running the big blocks when john had yeah, it, right 2003 oh so you didn't spend long in the imca two seasons no, two 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 and a half seasons okay happy yeah then um, we got a new baby how old now new baby a year and a half old um things are good sounds like you'll be back at that go-kart track soon huh maybe would that maybe. be cool or do you want your yeah I, the go-kart stuff's changed so much and it's uh how it's uh, it's like any of the racing has. It's a lot more technical the, with the go-kart stuff, the tire prep, and um, the chassis have come a long way. So uh, okay. we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. You just got married. When was it? Uh, 
the 24th. Well, yeah, so oh, you're not even a month into this yet, nope, then, are yet. you? They need a special <laughs> term. I mean, newlyweds first year, they need another term for, for first month. Of course, you guys have been together forever, right? Yeah, three or four years. All right. So everything's good. Everybody's, yep. I saw your dad. I, uh, uh, Tim's around. Every, everybody's happy and, yep. and healthy up in Watertown? Yep, everything's good. Uh, just uh, hoping to get through this weekend safely and uh, see what happens. Mariah said you'd be mad if she asked a question. <laughs> Probably. 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 Okay. Hey, Mariah. <laughs> You were right. He, he said he would be mad. So it's, yeah, she was right. So, all right. I wish y'all the best. Hit the bluey, guys. Subscribe. You're late to overtime. We're talking to somebody cool like Billy Dunn. Good luck today, Thank man, you. and I hope you have fun. Yep.